Today, I'll be explaining Backrooms Level 76, aka the Boundless Sewers. This level is a classic one. If you've been in the fandom for a while, you probably remember it. Hope you enjoy it. Sit back and relax. And let's get into some very scary sewer tunnels, shall we? The 76th level of the backrooms, or the boundless sewers, is classified as a class 4 difficulty and is very unsafe and unsecure with a medium to low entity count. Also, I just wanted it to be known that this is like the fifth level in a row that's a class 3 or higher. Just goes to show you how dangerous the 70s levels are. Anyways, level 76 consists of a seemingly infinite sewer system with a multitude of different tunnels. Their lengths and their heights are inconsistent, as some of them are taller or skinnier than the others. The texture, appearance, and vibe of the tunnels and the walls and everything are also known to change depending on where you're at. For example, some wanderers have reported the tunnels having the appearance of a factory drainage pipe, or an old mine, or an old mill. Others have reported the tunnels appearing as a calm, clean hotel pool, or spa area, or even sometimes a pool rooms type area. And some people have reported the halls to be horrifyingly gory, with weird flesh and juices all over the surfaces. It all just depends on how deep you go, what directions you take, and how far you want to wander. All of these these different appearances and different vibes are still in a tunnel-esque shape, which makes it even weirder. They're all in kind of like a cylindrical circle shape. Throughout the different tunnels, you actually might find different resources and supplies, and this is all dependent on what appearance the tunnels take. If you're walking through a pool tunnel, you might find snacks or a flashlight or something like that. If you see a movie-themed tunnel or subway type hall, then you might find weapons or ammo or something. It really just depends. And for some reason, the resources seem to correlate with the section that it resides inside of. That's what these different areas are called. They're called sections. And each section appears to be its own kind of scene, almost like it's from a TV show or a movie, because they all look so vastly different. The lengths of each of these scenes can be miles long, a few feet long, or you know, a few inches long, but each corridor will look different. But again, all share the same basic sewer shape. The one rule of thumb for this level is that if you're walking along and you start to smell a foul sulfur type smell, then you need to turn around and run back the way you came as fast as you can. This is because that smell is coming from a very dangerous set of halls where the level's only creature lives. The entity is only known as the eyes in the dark to wanderers in the back rooms, and it's a horrifying creature. Descriptions of this monstrosity vary depending on who you ask or who you bump into, but the main identifying feature is that it has two bright white eyes, a long dark blue body, and an ungainly spider-like appearance with long spindly legs. These legs propel the creature to run really fast through the different sewers. The entity is very aggressive, very ravenous, and it seems to patrol random sections of this level's tunnels constantly in search of food, which is you. It's mainly only spotted deeper into the tunnels where there are a superiority of darker themed sections of tunnel, but it's not out of the question to see it sooner than that. The entity is so horrifying and unnatural to look at, and most people who encounter it tend to not make it out alive, and if they do, they're scarred with PTSD or something like that. There's actually a colony in these tunnels that's about 40 miles deep into them. Its name is Dendraga, and it's a massive settlement. It's one of the biggest ones. It's a very diverse group of people, too. It's located at a cross-section of tunnels that all lead off into different directions, north, south, east, and west. Food and shelter are always provided to wanderers that make it there, but it's expected that you somehow contribute to the group in order to pay for what you take. Maybe you could work in the colony defense, or you could be on a supply mission for a few weeks or something. Just you have to do something to balance whatever you take. The base here is heavily guarded in order to keep the eyes from the dark entity out. 
They track the creature based on its nasty sulfuric smell, and they often lose members every day to the eye's dangerous appetite. It's important to note that when exploring these tunnels, directions like the ones I said, north, south, east, and west, are all arbitrary. They, they don't matter. And the main way to navigate the level is just by trial and error. And you just gotta see where the different tunnels go. There's no real way or scheme to do it. Throughout the tunnels, you might see a random carved sign or arrow that's been put up by the Dendraga colony, but they might be hard to find. And it's recommended to only travel in this level in a straight line and to not detour on any left or right path or tunnel that you see. Try to go straight as possible. Except if you run into the eyes in the dark, then then don't. Run away, please. Save yourself. To enter, you can find any level with a deep body of water, swim down to the bottom of it, and you'll find a metal hatch that leads directly to a pool section of the tunnels here. Because this entrance is so weird, it's thought that these tunnels in this level might physically take place underneath actual backrooms levels, and that's why different sections look different. Maybe they're mirroring the level that's above them since they're below. You know, the pool spa might be underneath the pool rooms. The theaters might be underneath level 74 and so on and so forth. I don't know if that's true. It's just an interesting thought and theory that I had. To exits, you have to get pretty lucky since the exits randomly appear and they come in all forms of different appearances. You might see a random hatch in the roof of a tunnel. You might see a ladder that leads up. You might see a hallway that ends in a brightly colored room or something like that. Just something that looks out of place is what the exits look like here. And if you see one, you need to take it ASAP because you might not get the chance again. They disappear as quick as they're seen. So yeah, let me know in the comments what your theories on this level are. I like the theory that the tunnels take place underneath the back rooms physically, and that's why each section of the tunnel takes a different appearance. But let me know what you think. everyone thank you so much for watching the video hope you enjoyed the entire thing brumus has been so fun to record and make hope you all have been enjoying it as we go and i appreciate you all sticking with me hopefully your christmas was fantastic hopefully you spend a good time with family and friends and if you don't uh, celebrate christmas i hope you just had a great day of course check out the links in the description below if you want my second or third channel, Tooly or Spoogly. On Spoogly, I've been cranking out really good videos. So if you want more of the horror internet mystery kind of stuff, check that out. And with enough personal shilling of my other products behind, I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you in the next video and the end of Brugmas. That's sad, I know, but it had to end sometime. Love and appreciate you all, and I will see you later.